The Land and Survey Department is a leading agency in land management and land administration in Sarawak. Matters under its jurisdiction are land, planning, valuation, survey and enforcement of the land laws under the Sarawak Land Code. To drive this organization efficiently, the department depends greatly on its people who are working well with processes, technology and abide by the law to deliver greatest results. As one of the major agencies in the Sarawak Civil Service, the Land and Survey Department expects enormous challenges from multiple fronts in the coming years. However, having existed 104 years now, the department has devised plans and ways to weather any trial and tribulation that might arise. This is realized by staying relevant in scene with the aspirations of the Sarawak Civil Service and the state government, forming a dynamic organizational and directional leadership through the strategic plan, becoming an agency of high integrity, responsible and subscribing to ethical and moral values supported by the integrity plan, strategic plan against corruption and the corruption risk management, forming a far-sighted, well-organized, systematic organization and its workforce leveraging on information technology and digital economy for a comprehensive land and survey information system and embracing quality and innovation in line with the current needs and aspiration of the Sarawak Civil Service. Leveraging on technology, the department takes pride in the successful development of the Land and Survey Information System, LASIS. With the slogan, One Department, One System, the system realized the government's desire for data sharing and the land information for use by all government departments and agencies in driving the implementation of digital government. We are indeed proud to have been here for a century, weathering challenges and undergoing transformation to be part of the state's laudable growth. In the Land and Survey Department, we hold firmly to our principles, fast, accurate, and reliable. This is Land and Survey Sarawak. Historically, the Department of Survey was established by Sir Charles Vinerbrook, the third Raja in the year 1918. In 1920, the existing laws relating to land was merged via Raja Order No. 8. Through the establishment of Land Ordinance 1932, the Department of Land took over the registration of land from the Sarawak High Court. The main triangulation as the basic infrastructure of field surveying work was completed in the year 1938. During the Japanese occupation, there were no changes to land administration and there were very few transactions. The administration of land during the colonial era began when Sarawak was handed over to the British government by Raja Vinerbrook in 1946. With this handing over, Sarawak became a part of the British colonies. In 1947, the Directorate of Overseas Survey began aerial photography 
for mapping purposes. During the colonial era, laws relating to land was published in 1956 and enacted on January 1, 1958. In 1954, the first resettlement scheme, known as Kampong Gita Resettlement Scheme, was implemented. It is currently known as Kampong Pinang Jawa, named after its origin, Kampong Pinang and Kampong Jalan Jawa. Sarawak achieved independence from British rule on 22nd July 1963. And in 1963, a joint Sabah Sarawak survey training school was established in collaboration with New Zealand government through the Colombo Plan. The establishment of a survey school was in line with the department's needs specifically in the field of survey. The first Memorandum of Understanding was signed on 6 and 7 December 1972 pertaining to Malaysia-Indonesia boundary. Lassie's Phase 1, launched in the year 1988, was the brainchild of Yang Ahmad Berhormat Datuk Patinggi Haji Abdul Taib bin Mahmud, the Chief Minister of Sarawak, come Minister of Resource Planning in the year 1984. Lassie's Phase 2, launched in 2010, integrated all the systems and became the pinnacle of achieving one department, one system. The globalization challenges posed by the digital world have driven the department to advance into the digital era of land administration. The department was ready to explore new systems to remain relevant. Among the department's achievements were the use of 3D CT modeling system in 2015. Sarapec, an innovation that replaced ironwood, was used by the department beginning 2016. In the year 2018, the Limpa system was developed as a result of a collaboration with the Malaysian Remote Sensing Agency. The online service of eLASIS was established in 2014. In the face of digital challenges, the mobile LASIS service was introduced in 2018 via smartphone application. The department will continue to move forward as an agency to facilitate development to ensure the service delivery achieves Sarawak State Civil Service vision to become a world-class civil service. Since 2008, the Land and Survey Department provided an innovative and creative landscape to improve services for the people. Registrations of instruments and the use of iron wood or kayu belian as boundary marks were among the issues that needed to be addressed immediately at that time. In order to ensure continuous projects by the innovative and creative groups, it has been preserved as a culture and tradition among the staff of the department. To date, a total of 152 innovative and creative projects have been successfully conceived. Creative and innovative projects are presented to the management with the aim to find the best solutions to the problems faced by the department to improve service delivery and provide solutions to people's issues. 
The Land and Survey Department is fortunate because its workforce is able to integrate and sustain the transformation ecosystem. Ongoing commitment through guidance by the department's management is the catalyst for the sustainability of the innovation culture. The Land and Survey Department continues to innovate in order to achieve world-class service capable to provide the best service for the people of Sarawak. This is the Land and Survey Department innovating for excellent service delivery. Tak sempat desa dan juga kota Segenap pelusuh hutan belantara